Firmware updates can feel like a high-tech challenge full of confusion, and the lack of documentation doesn't help. Today, I'm going to clear things up and guide you through getting your 6000 XP inverters firmware up to date. Head on over to monitor.eg4electronics.com. Here we're going to log in and click on the maintenance tab, then click on the remote update section. But this is where things start to get a little bit tricky. The interface offers little guidance. There's no real clear indication if we're even on the latest firmware. The 6000 XP is an incredible inverter capable of running difficult loads and powering through them with ease. But as a budget inverter, there are issues. You're likely here because you've grappled with the ambiguity of the firmware updating process. And the frustration isn't even just about updating the firmware. It's about whether or not you need to update it in the first place and what firmware you have. If you're lucky enough to find the change log, the numbers don't match anything on your dashboard. And the manual, it tells us to verify the latest version with the distributor, but that's easier said than done. Let's keep going and get your 6000 XP inverters up to date. So whenever we are on this remote update page, we can see standard update. We can see the FW code in this question mark box right here click on it and you'll see a few things. A suggestion, which is the standard update, and then some gibberish. Essentially, these are just the file numbers that need to be updated. You can see three of them here, and I believe all of them have to be updated at the same time, and each are for different components inside the inverter. If it is blank here under suggestions, then that means that you are up to date and there's nothing to do at this point. Go ahead and click on standard update at this point, and it's gonna close the dialog box and it's gonna to start to show you something if you're lucky. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but what you should see is the right side populate with a few items. What we see here is the firmware for one of those three items being updated, and it's gonna walk from zero to 100%, and when it's done, we have to go back and repeat the process I skipped a couple minutes, but you can see now that it is coming up on 100%. And now that it's done, if we click on the question mark, we will see that this now just has two of the three items that were originally in place. Now I wanna point out real quick that the 16 to 18 down here at the bottom is showing you the firmware number, which correlates to the change log. You'll also see it up there at the 16, but let's go ahead and check more, click here, and it's gonna take us over to the change log where we can see the latest is 18, there was 17, and everything below that. So what we are trying to do is upgrade from 16 up to firmware 18. I repeated the process again, and now you can see I only have one more update to go until we are fully upgraded on this particular inverter. I'm gonna click standard update one more time, and then we're gonna have this one fully updated. Now, if you click the button and you don't see anything happening immediately, that's okay, you're probably not gonna see it. You need to go back and you're going to go to the home page, refresh a couple times, move around, come back over to the update page, and with any luck, you're gonna see something happening. You'll notice over here, I actually had a couple updates going at the same time, and I've found that I could update two inverters at once as long as I wasn't utilizing uh, more than a single inverter. I'm not entirely sure if this is safe or you should do it or not. I would guess the best practices would be to not use the inverters while you're updating them. I just updated one or two at a time and made sure I wasn't using more than say 6,000 watts. After about 30 minutes, I got to where my inverters show no updates. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this and everything is looking good. Be sure to go check out the change log. There are some really cool things that have been added. There's three phase, there's some generator cool uh, features that have been added. So you can actually utilize solar and the generator at the same time or the battery and the generator at the same time. It's pretty cool. There's some great things in here. Check it out. Don't be shy. There's a lot of great stuff in here. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with others who might be struggling, and don't forget to subscribe for more EG4 6000 XP solutions. Drop a comment if you have any questions or share your own experience with the firmware update. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.